Good morning, K Nation. Welcome to the morning announcements for Wednesday, April 13th, produced by the iNews. I'm Alexis Goodwin. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and pause for a moment of silence. Good morning, Hurricanes. We will now have your attention for morning announcements. Seniors, want your pictures in the Senior Slideshow? Check out the school's Facebook page and your Senior Schoology group for details about getting your pictures to Coach Miller. Deadline to do this is April 22nd. Category 6 and Choir will perform an informal spring showcase for our community on the evening of April 14th at 6 p.m. Community tickets are $5 and can be purchased on the school's website under Fine Arts. We will host a student show during 4th block on Friday. Tickets are $3 and can be purchased on Lunch Waves beginning this week. Interested in joining our hurricane band? Check out the school's social media page for more information. Click the link and fill out the interest form. Seniors, your announcements and keepsakes will be delivered today and tomorrow during lunch. If you currently have a balance, please call Jostens, go online, or pay on delivery date. All balances are due before capping down delivery. Category 6 auditions will be held May 3rd through the 6th. Interested students must pre-register online using the form linked on social media or on the school's website under Fine Arts. See Mr. Gibson with any questions or concerns. It is now time to start signing up for classes that you are interested in for next year. Here are a few courses offered by our English department. English 9-12 through 12 regular, English 9-12 through 12 honors, dual enrollment English, and Cambridge English. Elective classes are general papers, creative writing, study of film, mythology, writing workshop, and speech. If you are interested in working on the yearbook team next year, then see Ms. Hatcher or Ms. Jacobs for a 2022-2023 staff application. Applications are due no later than April 29th. Now to breathe with our sports. Thank you, Alexis. Congratulations to our varsity softball team on their huge win over Murphy yesterday. The final score was 15-0. Tessie Dryden hit an inside-the-park home run, and Anna Acri and Emma Hudson both had multiple hits. Congrats to the girls' golf team on their victory over Murphy yesterday. Victoria Laney led the team, shooting 55, and the seventh grader Anna Osterman came up big with a hole in one in the hole six at Heron Lakes. Great shot, Anna, and great job, girls. Good luck to our track team as they compete in the Mobile County Championship at the University of South Alabama today and tomorrow. Congratulations to Jelly Freeman on being named the Kiwanis Club Player of the Week for the week of March 28th through April 2nd. Jelly had three wins and one save, including a no-hitter. She had 18 strikeouts and only allowed two runs. Now back to Alexis with more news. Thank you, Bree. Today's lunch is goulash, bread, salad, fruit juice, and milk. Do you want to be an engineer? Do you want more hands-on activities in class? Are you interested in building, programming, and driving robots to do special tasks? Sign up for the robotics elective class during course selection when choosing your classes for 2022-2023 school year. See Ms. Hutto or Ms. Han on A-Hall for more information. Musical theater and advanced theater auditions will be held in the auditorium on April 27th and April 28th from 2.55 to 4.30. For musical theater, you should prepare one minute of a song to sing with either a track or a cappella from memory. For advanced theater and competition team, you'll perform a one minute monologue from memory. If you are auditioning for both classes, both a song and monologue should be performed. Please fill out the audition forms using the QR code on the posters outside the cafeteria. See Ms. Silva with any questions or concerns. This concludes our morning announcements for Wednesday, April 13th. We thank you for tuning in to the iNews and we'll see you again tomorrow for more morning announcements. And remember, it's a great day to be a hurricane.